Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name's Kim over here at Kim's A Little of a Lot. Welcome to another Mask Monday. I am participating in a collab for this Mask Monday with Kim's Happy Place, T, Teresa over Tea Time Adventures, and Shannon, in fact, Shannon Carroll. Uh, we all decided to get together and do a sugar skull mask. And I decided to get a little decorative. I was at the Dollar Tree and I could not find headbands. I wanted like, you know, little bats or horns or even spiders at this point that were put on top of my head. I could not find anything. So got a little creative with some garland and a art clip bow that I had found. But yes, the mask that we are all using is by Body Prescriptions. It's a sheet fit sheet face mask infused with vitamin C. Now I know the mask is like colorful, but that's okay. I The outlines are perfect. So definitely different. <laughs> How's everyone doing today or tonight? I hope everybody is having a good time. Um, I know I'm like dying at the moment because having garland on your hair, um, it's rather hot. <laughs> I'm getting really hot. But really quick, I just want to go over the ladies who are participating in this collab. And by the way, guys, stick around to the end because there's going to be a giveaway. Um, Kim Romer over at Kim's Happy Place. Um, she is the one who is hosting this collab. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of this. And I had to write everything down because I will forget. And plus, trying to talk with this is crazy. Um, she does unboxings, she does hauls, she does collabs, she does Miss Mondays, um, she does makeup looks and get ready with me, she does shout outs, um, she sings happy birthday, <laughs> there's so much that Kim does, so guys, make sure you check out her channel, I'm sure you're all subscribed to her already as it is, she will be down in the description box below at, for the playlist, um, link along with T over at T, T-E-A, Time Adventures. Teresa also does Mass Mondays and hauls and um, collabs and get ready with me. She does projects, she does reviews, she loves skincare. She calls herself a skincare junkie. Um, she loves samples, you know, of the skincare and all that. So yes, I will leave her link down below as well, along with Shannon Carroll. Once again, Mass Mondays, of course, she does collabs, she does get ready with me, she does unboxing, she does reviews, she does pop-up videos um, and whatnot, and she does so much more. So yes, please check all these lovely ladies out below down in the description box. I will leave the video link and um, subscribe if you have not subscribed to everybody. And in fact, if you want to enter my giveaway at the end, uh, you need to be subscribed to me along with Kim. Teresa and Shannon. So I don't want to make this video forever because I know um, there are so many Mass Monday uh, videos and everybody does and guys check them check them out. I mean everyone does great things. We all do our own thing for Mass Monday and as you can tell <laughs> pretty cool huh I hope. <laughs> all right but Kim was nice and she came up with some questions for us. Um, Halloween related. Um, it's basically kind of like a, uh, uh, well, it is a would you rather. Um, <clears throat> don't mind me. Question number one is, would I rather meet a vampire or a werewolf? Um, well, the fact that I love Twilight and I love True Blood and all that, um, I would have to go with vampire all the way. Yes. Number two is go trick or treating or watch scary movies at home. Uh, scary movies at home, please. Trick-or-treating days are over for me. Um, there's not too many scary movies that I won't watch, but there are some out there that I will not watch. But I do enjoy, you know, Freddy Krueger and Jason and Michael and Final Destination. I consider those scary movies. <laughs> Okay, number three, uh, be very strong or be able to run very fast. Well, off the top of my head, I would have to say I'd have to be like, Evie, shoom, road runner, be very fast, get out of the scenario. 
Uh, number four, explore a corn maze or haunted house. Well, years ago, I would say haunted house, but <laughs> I get scared too easily now. So I would have to say a corn maze because I know I'll be in that maze for quite some time. Number five, eat, con uh, eat candy apples or candy corn. Candy corn, all the way. I love candy corn, especially the original candy corn. Number six, have a creative costume or a scary costume. Well, this isn't really a costume costume, but I do have a shirt on that kind of goes with the theme. I got your back. <laughs> Cute, right? Yeah, I'll move the hair out of the way. So, yeah, I would say that I uh, go for the creative costumes. Um, let's think back to my rocker chip collab there. Okay, number seven. Visit a haunted house or a haunted graveyard. A haunted house. Um, as long as it's for one night. <laughs> I don't think I could stay for more than one night. Um, number eight. Go trick-or-treating or stay home to give out candy. I like staying home and giving out candy. It's not the way it used to be, though. We used to have tons and tons of trick-or-treaters where we'd have to run to the store on Halloween and buy more candy. And um, that's when they would wind up with these big giant bars because, you know, all the Halloween candy would be gone. And yeah, but um, it's not like that anymore. Now we're lucky if we get a dozen trick-or-treaters a year, every year. So, you know, I enjoy sitting on the porch. And when the kids do come up with their parents, because a lot of times the parents stay in the car now. They let the kids get out of the car, go up to the house, and then get back in the car. There's no walking. So I sit on the porch and wait. I like to see them dressed up in their costumes and their fairy costumes and little angel halos. So yeah, I love giving out candy. Okay, number nine, carve a jack-o'-lantern or play some pranks. Well, I like carving pumpkins, so I would say definitely carve a jack-o'-lantern. I'd probably go, because you know, my creative skills are out the window lately, I probably use like one of those stencil kits that you can buy at the store and carve your pumpkin that way and put one of those tea light candles in. I wouldn't put a real candle. Uh, let's see. Number 10. Light a bonfire or a candle in a graveyard. Um, light a bonfire. So, I mean, it's the middle of fall and it was like 70 degrees out yesterday. It's like crazy. Um, yeah, definitely light a bonfire. Number 11, no, never celebrate Halloween or never Thanksgiving again. Okay, well, that is a toughie. Um, I like Halloween. I like dressing up. Um, I like seeing the kids dress up, you know, but I also enjoy Thanksgiving. I mean, it's all about, you know, giving thanks and all that. And... Well, if I had to choose, I'd probably give up Halloween and I would go with Thanksgiving. Yeah. And let's see. Last question. Number 12. Friday the 13th, Jason or Halloween's Michael? Halloween's Michael. Um, I like all the series in that. I'm, I do like the Jason movies. Don't get me wrong. Crystal Lake and all that. But I Halloween's Michael all the way. From, could be a lot to do with the characters, you know, that are in the movie in the movies but um yeah so great questions kim i appreciated this this has been fun how long has this mess been on for oh, so we still got a little time um yeah so i am going to let this percolate uh, a little bit for about five to five more minutes i'll be back I'll take off and then we will do a quick wrap up with the giveaway all right this has been on long enough. As you can see, it dried down nicely. I actually <laughs> think this is a cute mask. Um, I'm wondering if this is something maybe I can rinse off, dry, and actually wear on Halloween. I don't know. We'll think about it. <laughs> Let's take this off. Feels nice and refreshing. <laughs> can I take the rest off too? No, I'll wait until after. Um... Ugh. Well, my head's not on fire anymore, at least, so that's a good thing. The mask cooled down my head. So, yeah. Great mask, Kim. I like this so much. 
And yes, real quick talk about the giveaway rules. So if you want to enter my giveaway, use the word creative, C-R-E-A-T-I-V-E. -E, um, and please be publicly subscribed to me, Kim's Happy Place, TEA Time Adventures, and Shannon Carroll to be entered into my giveaway. And um, you're going to get five sheet masks and I have them all here all ready to go this giveaway is going to run for one week I will announce the winner on my next mask Monday you know it just popped into my head I remember Kim saying last week well this past mask Monday a week ago that she was on 99 I think this time is her 100th mask Monday so make sure you guys congratulate Kim um, when you see her video, because I believe it's going to be her big one zero zero. All right. So I have four sheet masks and a hair mask. So by Snow Fox Skincare, it's an herbal youth mask, firming and hydration for dry and mature skin types. Then we have here by Lux Beauty. It's a lavish me sheet mask, vitamin infused for a healthy skin glow. Then we have here by Patchology, it's a mood mask. Get dewy with it. It's a mega moisture sheet mask. Then by Vitamin, I can never say this word. Vitamin Seuss, it's Vitamin C Cherry Brighten sheet mask. And then also, um, if you don't have damaged hair and you know somebody who might and you can pass it on, then yes, I do have damaged hair. I've used this before, it, it works good. It's by the company Rave. It's a deep repair hair repair mask with coconut oil and keratin. So now guys, um, if it's a possibility that you might be allergic to any of these products, um, do a, a skin test first. You know, check your ingredients, make sure you're good to go. All right, so all my giveaway rules are pretty much the same. They will be listed down below in more detail, but just a quick rundown. This giveaway is open to United States residents only. You need to be of 18 years of age or older. You need to live here in the United States with a U.S. verifiable residential mailing or a P.O. address box. Um, YouTube or any brand or product has nothing to do with this giveaway. This giveaway is entirely my own. Um, these subscriptions were, uh, these, subscri these sheet masks were given to me through subscription boxes or I purchased them myself. Uh, let's see. Um, if you were to experience any type of skin reaction or sensitivity, I nor YouTube or any brand of product can be held responsible. So please do this at your own risk. And like I said, if you're unsure, you know, do a little research, check it out. Um, let's see. I know I'm like, yeah, forgetting stuff. Make sure you're publicly subscribed, of course, to me and um, the other channels involved. And uh, once the package leaves the post office, it is out of my control. I can't replace any lost, damage, or possibly stolen items. Um, I will use the random comment picker. And um, so next week's Mass Monday, you'll see me break away probably in the middle or toward, at the end of the video to uh, pick the winner. Or I just might, out of the blue, be talking and bam, we jump right into the video. But I will announce the winner next week. And yes, I know I'm probably forgetting some rules, but that is the gist of them. So all the rules will be in the description box down below. Make sure you use the word that I asked, the word creative, in a complete sentence, please. Don't just put the word creative. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> happy Mass Monday, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my little creative get up here. I really wanted a headband, but my Dollar Tree, believe it or not, as good as it, they are, they did not have them. And I went searching at another Dollar Tree, could not find it there either. In fact, they never even got any in. So I was like, what am I supposed to do? So I found some garland, wrapped it up, tucked it up, <laughs> little bow. There you go. All right, guys, on that note, I hope everyone has a great day or night, wherever you may be. And I'll see you guys all again soon in my next video. Stick around because I have many videos coming out at all certain times, probably at least one a day until I'm caught up. All right, guys, take care. Oh, and by the way, I finally got in my community tab. I know I'm not at 500 yet. YouTube did um, lower the uh, cap with uh, certain things. But yes, I'm so happy that I now have a community tab. So every now and then, 
pop by my community and see what's going on there as well. All right, guys, take care. Bye.